Bienvenidos! Welcome to the Arlington Weekly News. We have a great news program today. I'm Daniel Pineda. Inga Middleton. My name's Adele Quo. And like I said, we have a great news program today. We have our news stories. It's that time. It's easy. Easy being green. green. <laughs> Can't forget CBB, right Inga? That's right. We have the senior stories tonight. And I also am going to do a sustainable scoop segment on uh, the Go Gaga for Green event, which takes place on April 30th from 5 to 8 at the George Mason University campus in Clarendon. We awesome. can't wait. Yay, yeah. more green news. <laughs> <laughs> well, now our to our social media announcements. You can view the Arlington Weekly News on our YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash Arlington Weekly News. And yes, the number one, facebook.com slash Arlington Weekly News as well. And now on to our first news story for tonight. Almost 30 Arlington public school employees uh, had personal information exposed. On Monday, April the 18th, APS employees were notified that W-2 tax forms of 28 people were exposed on a third-party server. The company was one of over 40 organizations that reported breached W-2 data in their first quarter of 2016. APS issues about 7,000 W-2s they report that none of their own IT systems or servers show evidence of being compromised. Inga. Thank you, Daniel. The Arlington, the Arlington Memorial Bridge may be out of commission if D.C. and Virginia don't act soon. According to the National Park Service, the bridge needs about $250 million worth of renovations. Without needed repairs, it could, take close, cl it could close by 2021. As of Thursday, April 14th, National Park Service and D.C. officials formally requested $150 million from the Department of Transportation. They just made, made the application deadline. The bridge connects the Lincoln Memorial in D.C. to Arlington National Cemetery. Around 68,000 vehicle vehicles use it daily. If the 84-year-old bridge is closed, it could cost local government up to $168,000 per day in transportation outlays alone. Daniel? Thank you, Inga. And Arlington Public Schools has announced the 2016 Principal and Teacher of the Year. Colin Brown of McKinley Elementary is this year's Principal of the Year. Superintendent Dr. Pat Murphy described Colin as a highly skilled educator, leader, and someone who fosters cooperation between the school and the community. He praised his ability to continue the school's high quality education and student focus despite major renovations over the past year on the school property. The second honor went to second grade teacher of, at Oak Ridge Elementary School, Jennifer Bergen. She was named Teacher of the Year. In his presentation, Dr. Murphy recognized Bergen's strong belief that all students can and will succeed his abil uh, her ability to connect with her students and a strong commitment to help children succeed in all areas academically, socially, and emotionally. You can visit the Arlington Public Schools website to learn more about both teachers. Congratulations goes out to both of them. Inga. Thank you, Daniel. Animal lovers may be happy to know that they have a helping hand coming to town. Caring Hands Animal Hospital is opening in Clarendon. In fact, it is opening at the former Henniger Media Services space near Arlington Independent Media. The veterinary chain claims to provide a state-of-the-art surgical suite, complete in-house laboratory, ultrasound, and a digital dental radiography. Daniel? Right across the street, Caring Hands. Awesome. Well, Inga, according to the website NerdWallet, Arlington is the best city for recent grads. In its listing decision, it cited such things as over 70% of people 25 and older have bachelor's degrees, lots of management, business, science, and art jobs, a top location salary-wise. On the downside, a big chunk of those hefty paychecks goes towards housing. The medium rent takes about one-third of people's paychecks. Madison, Wisconsin was second on the list, followed by Washington, D.C. And Inga, it's that time. You know it's that time, right? It's, it's easy, easy being green. green. 
Adele, how are and you? And hey, welcome to, thank you. <laughs> welcome to It's Easy Being Green Arlington. Joe Tree Frog and I are very happy to talk about treating every day like it's Earth Day. The 46th annual Earth Day is upon us Friday, April 22nd. In Arlington County, the Departments of Environmental Services and Parks and Recreation treat every day like it's Earth Day. Therefore, several events in April will celebrate Earth Day all month. Check out Arlington's Earth Day calendar of events. That should show up on the screen there. Whether it's your yard, your home, a park, or just a green spot in Arlington, there are numerous ways to help the Earth every day in Arlington. So first, come out to one of the many Earth Day events available. One highlight that I know uh, our, my colleague will talk about later on in more detail is the upcoming Go Gaga for Green, a family-friendly, community-wide gathering that celebrates environmental sustainability in Arlington with food, fun, and live entertainment. So for more information, there should be a very long website link on your screen. Or of course, you can hear more details from Inga when uh, she talks about that later on. Second, plant a tree. Here's our Joe Tree Frog and his favorite tree, but Arlington offers a lot of different tree planting programs. Uh, one of them is for barren spots of public land that could use a tree or two. There's also a tree distribution program where Arlington's Natural Resources Division provides a variety of free native tree species for residents. Or maybe you'd like to plant a tree in honor of a special person, family member, or an important person, or an important life event. Applications for commemorative trees to be planted in the fall of this year are due July 31st. To foster more tree love, there's additional county resources to help you learn which trees thrive and provide the best benefit in Arlington County, where to not plant trees, or learn to conserve energy with trees. So to learn more about Arlington County's tree programs, the best place to start is at the Arlington County website, which again is on your screen. So. I also would like to celebrate Arbor Day, Tuesday, April 26th at Oak Ridge Elementary School. The Virginia Department of Forestry will officially award Arlington's 20th consecutive Tree City USA designation, which is based on four core standards of tree stewardship. The celebration will feature activities, a tree planting ceremony, and an official Arbor Day proclamation. And remember, it's easy being green, treating every day like it's Earth Day here in Arlington. So many great events, right? I know. That's April awesome. is just chock full of yes. green, green, green. Celebrating very important sustainability. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you. Well, now, Indra, we're going on to our CBB stories for tonight. Do you know how to respond to medical emergencies? If you don't, would you like to learn how Arlington County's Medical Reserve Corps needs volunteers to respond to emergencies in the community? MRC volunteers get training in CPR, emergency preparedness, psychological first aid, mass medication, dispensing, infection control, and more. Visit the website to get more information. It's on your screen. Inga. Thank you, Daniel. A warm weather friendly activity you may abandon this winter is lunchtime food truck runs. If you work near Crystal Drive between 18th and 20th streets, then you can get your lunchtime food truck fix. From now until September, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., the food trucks gather in the parking lot on Crystal Drive between 18th and 20th streets every Thursday. Be sure to look up your favorite vendors on social media so you can find out their schedules. And Daniel? They, yes, and those food trucks uh, in are so <laughs> popular, right? They and are. They, people love them. I just saw a big line of them today. Yeah. <laughs> well, Indo, want to learn about fostering kittens? Sign up for a full day class on April the 23rd. The Animal Welfare League of Arlington will provide the training on Saturday. That's April the 23rd from 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. at their 2650 South Arlington Mill Drive location. Visit the website on your screen for more information. Wow, I love that picture. That is great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, well thank you, Daniel. 
um, Made in Arlington is this Saturday, April 23rd. You can pop into the pop-up shops and find great gifts just in time for Mother's Day, Father's Day, school graduations, weddings, and summer celebrations. Retail items include clothing and food from Arlington-based innovators and artisans such as Acme Pie Company, Woodmont Weavers, Little Miss Pepper Jewelry, and Happy Dough Lucky Earth-Friendly Modeling Dough. Made in Arlington is being held at the Arlington Mill Community Center from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. This free event will also have free parking, which is great, in the garage for the first four hours of the event. The Arlington Mill Community Center Gallery is located at 909 South Dinwiddie Street in Arlington. Isn't that great? Uh, made in Arlington. Made locally. Yes, yes made support locally. Something That's like that. right. Absolutely. Well, Inga, the D.C. region's biggest cycling race is coming back to Arlington this June. The Air Force Association Cycling Classic will take place near the Pentagon, Crystal City, and the Air Force Memorial over the weekend of June the 11th and 12th. There will be several races for cyclists of all ages and skill levels. If you don't want to race, don't worry, you can still participate. The event organizers need volunteers, including course marshals, medal distri uh, distribution, stage crew, and more. Visit uh, the website, that's cyclingclassic.org. For more information, that seems like a very fun event. Uh, all skill Definitely. levels. Definitely. So very active and healthy also, <laughs> yes. along the same lines. Yeah. So, Arlington Spellbinders will unleash the power of oral storytelling with favorite tales from around the world. Since ancient times in all cultures, this oral tradition has passed on wisdom, connected elders to youth, and engaged the imagination. Part of a national organization, this group of retirees tells stories to children in schools and day camps. They invite you to enjoy their tales as they share talents at this enthralling event. The event will be on Saturday, April 23rd at 3 p.m. at the Long Branch Nature Center. Call 703-228-6535 for details. Isn't that nice? That's great. Yeah. And now we're going on to our senior stories for tonight. Well, if you enjoy outdoor fun and competition, then you should join Nova Senior Softball. There are 26 teams in three leagues each with a different skill level starting with beginners. They play Tuesdays and Thursday mornings and have summer and fall games. For fun, fitness, and friendship, go to the website on your screen or call Dave. That's at 703-524-5576. Inga. Thank you, Daniel. Are you facing your senior years as a single person? Whether this is from loss or decision, this program will focus on the practical aspects of living alone during your senior years. Eileen Bogdanoff shares her experiences and lessons learned. Monday, April 25th, 1.30 to 2.30 at Lee. Call 703-228-0555 to reserve your spot. Daniel. And Inga, do you want to enjoy a little friendly competition? Would love to. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to test your trivia skills? Well, join the group at Culpeper Garden Senior Center for a rousing game of, yes, Jeopardy type awesome. trivia. Hmm. If you don't think you have trivia knowledge, well, just come and watch the fun. If there's something you know, you can always join in and you will learn some new facts so that you can be ready for the next round. The next Brain Jeopardy will take place at Culpeper Garden Senior Center. That's on Wednesday, April the 27th from 10.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Give them a call at 703-228-4403 for more information. Jeopardy. Awesome. Gotta do it. I'm terrible at that. <laughs> you can watch. <laughs> okay, and learn. If you're interested in community gardening, stop by Walter Reed Community Center and see what some hardworking volunteers accomplished last year. The knee-high weeds are gone, replaced by shrubs and perennials, lilac, sedum, ornamental grasses, aster, and lamb's ear for seasonal interest. Spring bulbs will soon be out, so come and see the colorful blooms. If you're not already a volunteer and would like to become involved, please contact Walter Reed at 703-228-0955 
or call Wendy Sparrow at 703-209-1985. Walter Reed is located at 2909 South 16th Street, Arlington. Thank you, Daniel. Yes. So does that round yes, out? and so and we want to thank our own Judy Masomni. Thank you so much, Judy, for all of your help. And now you have a great interview, right? Yes, I have. Um, we have the Sustainable Scoop, and we have guests from George Mason University, Dan Sklaru, and Chris uh, Chris uh, Ditta. Sorry, uh, he's the president of the Arlington County. Council of PTAs, as well as Jocelyn Gallatin, and she's from the Arlingtonians for a clean, um, cleaner environment, clean environment. And they're talking about the, they're going to be talking about the Go Gaga for Green event that takes place on April 30th at the George Mason University location in Clarendon. And please, everybody go to that. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. And let's go to the tape. Yep, let's go to the tape. Hi, welcome to the, to the Sustainable Scoop. My name is Inga Middleton, and I have three guests with me today. I have Dan Sklaru, who is a professor at George Mason University, and I also have Chris Ditta, who is a, uh, the president of Arlington County Council of PTAs, as well as Jocelyn Gallatin, I'm sorry, Gallatin, Gallatin, from um, the Arlington, Arlingtonians for a Clean Environment. And we have a big event coming up this this month, right? Dan? Yeah, that's right. The lot at the end of the month. Yeah. Very excited. So, can you tell us something about that event? What's going on? Sure, we're having the Arlington Go Gaga for Green uh, event. This has uh, been an annual Earth Month event that George Mason University at Arlington campus has sponsored. Excellent. Where we try to bring community together, the entire Arlington community together around environmental and sustainability issues in a fun way. You know, not trying to right. preach or teach, as it were. Right. So what date is that taking place? That will be April 30th. April it's the 30th. Sat last Saturday of the month from okay. 5 to 8 p.m. Awesome. And we have all the information on, online at gogagafregreen.gmu.edu. A bit of a tongue twister, but... Um, <laughs> That's and awesome. And we'll have lots of activities going yeah, on for that. So it's such a great event. I've been there so many times, and uh, I know you have all attended in the past. And uh, what, what activities do you have planned there? Oh, we have, it's like a three-ring circus. There'll be lots of fun activities going on. One is we have a lip-syncing contest. So uh, last year, um, I had the um, uh, dubious distinction of doing Kermit the Frog's um, It's Not Easy Being Green. This year, I'm going <laughs> to enjoy cute. it from the audience. Oh, um, I didn't see But that. it was fun doing. Oh, um, awesome. we've had, and we had some great performances last year. That will continue. Great. We'll have... Um, Operation Rain Barrel. Every um, school Love in that. the county has now painted a rain barrel yeah. that we have up for auction. And um, students can act, actually, the whole community can vote for their favorite um, uh, rain, rain barrel, barrel. as okay. part of this. And um, whichever one gets the uh, highest number of votes will be uh, recognized as a, with a People's Choice Award. Oh, so we have that so as a great. fundraiser we're doing. And, and um, don't you include all the schools now as, uh, in, it used to be only the elementary level, but now you include middle and high school? Yeah, over 30 um, schools in Arlington County, all of them are doing this. And it's, it's really exciting to see, you know, the different themes that they bring into yes. it. You know, dinosaurs and spaceships at the elementary school, sometimes things at the high school level that are very, you know, focused on the ecology of our region. Right. It's really beautiful. Perfect. Awesome. And then you have another award that you give out, correct? That, that's right. It's the Arlington Green Patriot Award. And I, this is, I think, the fifth or sixth year since the very beginning we've been doing that. And what that does is we try to recognize an individual and an organization that really um, model the, the ideals we have for sustainability, mm -hmm. that, they're, that they're addressing either social activities and or environmental activities of our society, of our community rather, um, looking at you know, improving economic well-being of our community members. And in some way, they're not just doing one thing, they're doing more than one thing in, in right. their activities. So it's real um, activism and sustainability. And yeah, that. yeah, and in fact, you probably know about this. You're one of our uh, 2014 award <laughs> yes, winners, was that right? I yeah, I was, thank the you. Planet I was Partners a lucky Atlantic recipient Nottingham. of one of the awards one year. And <laughs> so what did you, you. did you, tell me about what you guys um, did. Well, I used to do the Trash Free Tuesdays, yeah. Walk to School Wednesdays at the elementary level, and I started a program Hopefully they're continuing with that uh, regularly. Um, but I am so passionate about teaching children about uh, you know, sustainability and learning to recycle and compost. And so, um, you know, and one in 
boy comes to mind particularly in Fairfax County. Mm -hmm. I met him last year at the Go Gaga for Green event. And yeah, I, know, I think is, I know you're you talking know, about. You know him? Yeah, um, one of my uh, co-congregants uh, and a friend of mine, a, li a young friend of mine in high school, um, Jerry, um, and he's uh, he's been working on a styrofoam campaign that's so been really inspiring. amazing. Inspiring, yes. Yeah. And what um, what was his? He he did such an amazing job of of getting styrofoam. Um, well, he was talking to the the Fairfax County Schools about. Uh, yeah. getting it out of the waste stream, right? Yeah, that's right. We basically, um, here in Arlington, we removed um, polystyrene or styrofoam trays yeah. from our cafeterias. Yeah. But um, when Mr. Ackerman realized that, that Fairfax hadn't done the same thing, he was aghast, right, uh, right. literally. And yeah. so he um, took that on as a service project awesome. to um, create a, a, a petition that hundreds of people signed um, and, and then finally go before the school board and make the case, hey, you know, we need to take this out. Arlington's right. doing it. Montgomery right. County's doing it. Why aren't we yeah. doing that? And it's you know, awesome. Fairfax County's very uh, subject to shame, especially when so it's coming great. from great Arlingtonians. Exactly. I know. Um, and so, so the school board that. said yes. That's great. Yeah. So yeah, I would. Would you agree that it's a good idea to take uh, styrofoam out of the uh, waste stream? Oh, absolutely. I mean, this yeah. is stuff is hard to to recycle. I mean, it usually right. has you know your food stuff on it. It's right. difficult exactly. to clean up. It's less great. And, and if it doesn't burn well, we get bad tech chemicals in the air. Right, right. Yeah. How about you, Jocelyn? Do you feel that coming from uh, ACE? Yes, I do. And I think that uh, Arlington County passed a resolution for zero waste uh, oh, just awesome. recently. That's and awesome. I think that they, uh, they, will have, uh, they will have a plan in place to tackle all sorts of things in, ter in terms of That's the waste great. stream. And I think it's a very ambitious goal, but Arlington County has always been very sort of active about these things. And I think That's it'll, wonderful. Thank it'll you. be very successful. I wanted to t uh, you to talk about who benefits from the proceeds of the Go Gaga for sure. Green event. Can you tell us about that? Um, well, there are three. They're actually, we each represent a different proceeds of the, the benefits from this um, overall event. Uh -huh. um, so uh, my particular piece is, the, is George Mason University's Early Identification Program. We work with um, kids here in Arlington um, over their last five years of public school to um, basically develop liter leadership skills, study skills, and insofar as they've, they're involved with developing these activities and getting involved with civic um, activities, we invite them to come George Mason. That's they can go awesome. anywhere they want, but essentially they've got, a, they've got an entrance point to come as right. first, me first generation members of their family yeah. um, to go to college to, to come to Mason. So That's we're really excited so about that particular program. What a great program. cause. And how about you, Jocelyn? Can you tell us about the ACE? Yes, uh, ACE proceeds? is it's the Arlingtonians for a Clean Environment, and uh, the proceeds will help to uh, fund uh, the Energy Masters program, which Arlington started uh, about five years ago. And it's a partnership with the Virginia Cooperative Extension. Okay. And basically, it, it follows the Master Gardeners uh, uh, sort of format and teaches volunteers to go out into the community and uh, retrofit apartments at, for low-income uh, residents to uh, get energy savings and water conservation in their apartments. And That's we so and about 40 people go in and oh. into these complexes, work all day, we and all need that. and we have a 25 item checklist that we Thank go through, you. and it's it's that's it's great. Very Thank successful. you so much. How about Chris? Can you tell us sure. about the PTAs real quickly? We're running yeah. out. Um, I represent the Arlington County uh, Council of PTAs. Uh -huh. uh, it's an umbrella organization for all the PTAs in Arlington, and uh, we've been participating in this event for many years. And we just recently, um, in the last two years, got all the schools to participate in painting the rain barrels as part of Earth Day celebration. Right. And so the kids have been learning all about the sustainability and getting ready. And what will the proceeds benefit? Uh, they'll be going to um, uh, scholarships for uh, seniors that are going to college. That's awesome. Well, I really appreciate all of you coming. I mean, this is such a great discussion on sustainability. And um, I want to thank Dan Sklaru from George Mason University yeah. and Chris Ditta, president of Arlington County Council of PTAs, that's a mouthful, and <laughs> Jocelyn Gallatin, and you're from Arlingtonian, uh, Arlingtonians for a Clean Environment. And I wanted to say thank you for coming. Remember to come to the Go Gaga for Green event on April 30th, 5 to 8. Thank you very much for coming, and uh, this is the Sustainable Scoop. I'm Inga Middleton, back to the news desk. Thank you so much, Inga, for that interview. Great interview. Oh, thank you. I really enjoyed them. And the thing is, you know, also at the Go Gaga for Green mm -hmm. event, I'm going to have my biodegradable timeline there. Oh, so that sounds I great. I hope that you guys come and see. Um, yeah, April 30th. I'm so sorry. <laughs>
<laughs> well, that's all well, the time that we have. Thank you so much for watching the Arlington Weekly News. Thank you. We'll see you next week.